This is my roasted pepper, harissa filo quiche. This is such an easy and impressive recipe, packed full of asparagus and sweet peas. It's really impressive, really delicious. You can have it hot, you can have it cold, and it's something that I know you're gonna love to make. So let's do it. I'm gonna use phyllo pastry instead of short crust pastry. Phyllo is much healthier. I'm gonna make this in a frying pan. You can use a cake tin if you want, but basically this is 24 centimeters. And we'll just rub it with some olive oil. Now, a nice little tip, if you look in the supermarket, you can often see these little olive oil spritzers and they're really good for pastry work. Now with the phyllo, I'm just gonna take one or two layers at a time and basically lay it almost badly over the tray. So you get that nice overhang, right? Push it into the edges, a little bit of oil in between the layers. Of course, you can just brush it with oil. So what you're gonna get from the phyllo is this layered kind of crunch. If you wanted to put a little spice in between the layers, you could do that. You could use things like pesto, curry powders. You know, I've purposefully done it quite bad, right? It doesn't matter how badly you or I do it, it's gonna look and cook amazing. So, the quiche filling could not be simpler. So we're gonna use eight large free-range eggs. So we'll crack those into a bowl, whisk it up, some pepper, but the real seasoning is gonna come from a fantastic little spice, harissa. Two tablespoons of harissa goes in, and harissa is a North African chili paste. So I'll whisk that into the eggs. You'll get a lovely color out of that. And that little kind of fragrant, lightly spiced chili with all that lovely veg is gonna be absolutely incredible. First veg that I'm gonna get in here, frozen peas, 200 grams, always there, always reliable. I always have these in my pantry, some lovely, grilled peppers, massive flavor. So I've drained them and I'm just gonna hack it up. It's about 460 grams of peppers. They're all de-seeded. They've already been kind of charred. So you've got that lovely smoky taste of sunshine. Look at the color. Right now, asparagus is great. I love asparagus, super healthy. Trim off the end, just slice up the asparagus stalk, about half a centimeter thick, and then I'll keep the tips. Just throw it all in. So last ingredient is feta. So this will act you know, as a seasoning, and it's got that tang, saltiness, absolutely beautiful. So just give it a nice little mix up. It's a really good principle. You know, you could use lovely spinach, fresh or frozen in there. You could use lovely herbs, you can mix up the cheese. So into the pan we go, every last bit. And just kind of level it out, that last little bit of feta on top, like that. Look at that, that is a picture, super pretty. And then literally at the side, just kind of roll up the edge and just push it in like that. And that's basically your rim, your crust. So that's gonna go gnarly, crunchy. It will soak up some of that lovely egg. It doesn't matter if you do it badly. When it bakes, it's just gonna kind of turn into something beautiful. So that's it, that is it. It's gonna go in an oven at 190 degrees Celsius for about an hour. So in we go, one hour, happy days. Have a look at that, come on. Oh, look at the colors, I just love it. It just kind of cooks into a gorgeous rustic quiche and it will pretty effortlessly just pop out. Beautiful, look at that color. What I love to do now, a little honey. Obviously it's optional, but it really works. It works so well. And that sweetness with the saltiness of the cheese and the harissa Beautiful, something a little bit different. Oh, look at that. And look how delicate that pastry is. Really crispy. Happy days. Serve it with a nice mixed salad. That'll be lovely. So there you go, guys. My beautiful roasted pepper, harissa filo quiche. It looks really impressive. Immense. Let's have a little try. Mmm. Mmm. The harissa lifts it away from that classic quiche to like another kind of pie. It's delicious, really, really delicious.